Hey, it's Jason with WordPressFoundations.com. Today I'm going to talk about how to add text to speech to your blog. Now, as always, you can read the full article at EnlightenedWebMastery.com. Now, at this website, I have the actual step by step process. I'm not going to walk you through that here as it would be kind of tedious. So, just check out the article on the website. Just go to EnlightenedWebMastery.com. Uh, if you don't see it on the page, just type in text to speech and it'll show up in the search. So let's talk about briefly what is text to speech. Well, if you've ever used any text to speech software before, like the one that comes with your Mac or Windows variants, then you have a pretty good idea. Even if you haven't, if you've ever called somebody on the phone, like some company, and you have this automated voice like press one for Spanish or whatever, and it's not like a human recording, it's just really bad computer voice, that's kind of what we're talking about here. It's nothing really, really good yet, but it is very, very good for what it is. But basically, it's just a computer talking to you. The voice work, again, isn't as good as human speech, but it's also a lot less involved. Now, by using the service, what you can do is, by the time you sign up and install the plugin, which takes about less than 30 seconds to do, as I've outlined at the website, you'll automatically and instantly have audio versions of every last one of your podcasts. This takes, I mean, every last one of your posts, this takes less than maybe... 10 seconds for it to start working. So if you have a thousand articles archived that you've been creating over time through years of your blog, all this stuff will automatically just have audio. You didn't have to go through and record every single post and then edit the audio and do all this work. You just had to push a button and it's just a new way to present your information to your audience. So let's talk about some other reasons why you should do this. The most obvious reason to do this is to give your visitors another way of absorbing your content. They can listen to the audio for your post while browsing another page or doing work around the office. So if maybe you're the kind of reader who likes to read your post, but they like to do other things at the same time, they can now listen to your post while they're checking Dig or any of the other favorite blogs to see the news updates or go through YouTube to find something to watch when they get through with what they're watching with you. Now if you're a marketer, the most obvious reason would be higher search engine rankings due to having your media in another format as the company automatically creates another podcast. You can also embed ads to make money and download detailed statistics of who who is viewing your or who is listening to your stuff and so on. So let's go over how to do this. Alright, so first you need to visit odiogo.com and sign up for an account. This is free and takes just a few seconds. What you gotta do is put in your URL for your blog and an email address so they can send you some information. Now, once you have this done, you just need to unzip the plugin and install it. You do this by dragging it to your WP content folder and the plugin folder inside of that. Then you need to activate it, and the next thing you want to do is test, test, test. See how this stuff works, see how it works on your blog. Now, one thing you need to keep in mind is you need to be a really good stickler to punctuation. One of the best things to do is add periods a lot and try and create short sentences. I've tested this on my blog and some of the stuff I didn't create periods because I was creating bullet points and stuff like that and I don't like the WordPress default bullet point on everything and it just sounds like a complete run on sentence so I might have to go back and edit some of my posts. But just keep in mind on your newest stuff, just try and keep it to around shorter sentences and start using a lot more punctuation. Don't go crazy with your punctuation, just try and use it where necessary. So I hope you have enjoyed this article. And as always, you can find out more at EnlightenedWebMastery.com. If you're new to WordPress, you can find out more at WordPressFoundations.com. And you can view more videos for WordPress by visiting my channel at YouTube.com and subscribing to the videos. Now, one last thing I want to leave you with is that this tool is free. And it just takes a few seconds to do. You just click a button and everything works. It don't matter how many posts you've already had on your blog. Once you activate the service, you're good to go and audio is presented. One thing you might want to do after you do this is create a little post. If it's kind of like a social informal type website, create a little post. Let your readers know that you now have an audio version of your blog. And they can go ahead and click and subscribe to the podcast if you want to present that option for them. So again, this is Jason with EnlightenedWebMaster.com, and I'll talk to you soon.